course, there's one guy using a great shield. A tower shield. Not a great shield. But, uh... They can't all be that bad, right? Why is it that that one guy in there always goes for the furniture first? I understand the war was a bad one, but sir, it's been a long time since the war. Great furniture war of... Eh. Whenever. The great furniture war of kinda there. Uh, somewhere on this timeline. Come on. Whoa. Oof. Back up and just let him, uh, the dog do him in. I mean, let the dog... Words! Let the dog charge you first, and then you back up and, uh, kill it. Or miss. That is an option, too. I didn't foresee that one, though. right don't want to fight those without a torch do not try to fight those without a torch because they will not swing at you Unless they have grown immune to the effects of the light. Meaning it takes them a while. Oh. Whoa, my face. That destroyed my face. And then after they grow immune to the effects of the light, they actually go into a berserker rage. And I recommend taking it out. Taking them out as quickly as you can. It also happens when they get into a corner. But they can't really go through doors, so you're fine. They can destroy the doorways, though. A radiant life gem. Yep, these guys are the ones you want to grind off of for the radiant life gems early in the game like this. Okay. Okay. Whew. No, but those guys are the ones you want to defeat the most of. I see it's a trap. Hup. Hup. Okay. Give me the item. Silver talisman. I don't remember what those do. Oh, it's essentially the chameleon spell. Okay. You open this. And it's just a great sword. Don't. Don't bother with it. Great swords aren't really anything good. I love using them. They're awesome. But they aren't really good.
I will say they are some of the hardest things in the game to parry, though. So if you see someone with, like, a parry build and you're playing P PvP, you know, the multiplayer functions, yeah, those. If you are playing those, uh, that greatsword can be alright. Usually anything that's out there will outspeed it. Which is the problem that you'll run into. What the? An assassin. Cool. Ah, uh, did he enter their berserker rage? He did! Okay, so I feel comfortable using a Radiant Life Gem. A Fire Arrow. Oh, I overlooked this spot. Ah, oh, well. What are you doing? That's right, get up here. 220 experience, ah, uh, souls. Experience, souls, they're actually the same thing in this, so it's irrelevant. Ah! Whoa! I keep forgetting those guys are there. And it fucks me over. I don't want to talk to him yet. There we go. Light that torch. I mean, light that uh, thing there. And then we make our way back over here and speak with him. Hurrah for Fatty. Yeah. <laughs> right on, friend. Ever been so drunk you can't finish sentences? You have? Well, have you ever been a merchant that's so dedicated to your job that no matter how much you keep drinking, you do this? Yeah, that's Gaflan. I like Gaflan. So apparently there is a way to sell your souls that I did not know existed in this version, apparently. Let me sell your souls. Sell your items. So feel free to use this. I'm going to get rid of all this. There we go, 14,000. Oh boy. And I don't want to redistribute my... Redistribute... The words. I don't want to... Do that. I don't want to use that item and put my points into other things. But let's buy from him. Poison. Oh, yeah. Not really effective in this area, unfortunately. But the, he does have the Ring of Giants, which is a ring I think is unique to him. And it's only 5,000 souls. So let's grab that up. Now, once you leave this area, Gavlan will be gone from this area. In the original version, he, can, he only appeared in three areas. Here, um, and then two other spots that I forgot. And then after you talk to him those times, he's gone from the game forever. Because Gavlon wheels and Gavlon deals and he is Gavlon gone. That was... that was cheesy. Anyways.
I love how confidently he makes that line delivery, though. I think it's hilarious. Ah, this is not what I had intended to happen. I should have used a bone shard. Ah, well. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I can light a torch at any bonfire. You know what? I'm just gonna settle for being dumb. I've done that every time I go an extended period without playing this game, specifically in the Souls series, so I'm just gonna accept it as a fact of what I do. Oh, hi! I thought that would stun him for longer, but it did not. As everyone knows, a quick jab with your fists is enough to throw your enemy off their off their uh, balance. Actually, it probably is. If you're in a sword fight and suddenly you sock the dude in the face, I don't think he's expecting that. Veringian shield. Ver I'm mean, sorry, Veringian shield. I like that, Veringian. It sounds. It's, it sounds powerful. Thirty thousand souls down the drain, guys. And I've been recording for over an hour. Thirty thousand souls down the drain, and Gavlan has moved on. Ah, oh, shit. I, I should have just... I should have just used an undead bone shard. Oh my god. I guess let's look at the positive side. We got the ring. At least we got the ring from him. And because we got the ring, we don't have to worry about later appearances with that. Seriously? I like how after that death, I'm just like, oh no, I've taken damage, run back to the bonfire. Like, but it just feels so demoralizing to have died in such a way. On you. Soul of a nameless soldier. Oh god, my heart. Okay. We still gotta try, and I gotta try to at least show the area boss off today when recording. Even if my everything is thrown off, apparently. Lord Almighty, I'm not usually this bad, even when I'm feeling like shit. Hello? Oh, there you are. And then we get down there, and we kill him. 
The Gavlan is, by the way, I think the only is, by the way, I think the only spot that in the game that you can sell your items, which makes him one of the most valuable NPCs in the game. And if you kill him, you're a stupid piece of shit. Well, you're also a piece of shit in general. Who does not love Gavlan? Come on. Like, he is a fantastic character. He's funny. He's fun. He needs his own spin-off game. He needs to be the Torneco of the Dark Souls series. There we go. Whoa! Huh? It lived through that? <laughs> Seriously? I didn't know that was a spot enemies could be in. I thought he just fell from above. Come on. Okay, okay. Got most of them taken care of now. I'm gonna go down there and uh, go through here net this time. I almost said next time. Hello. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. Come on this way. Nope. Bah. I might need to start putting into Vitality, which increases all your defenses mildly and also increases your equipment load, which is something I need to be able to equip uh, better things. And I put it off for as long as I can, but I mean, I, I put it off for a long time, but I think I'm nearing the limit of how long I can go without doing that. What? He's not supposed to drop down here. go backstab he deserves it so one of you comes out of here the other goes to destroy the furniture. I kill these two. I kill one of these two. There we go. Then I kill you. And then we're good. Whoa. Forgot about the dog. I almost died because of the dog. That would have been twice as embarrassing.
Yeah, come over here. Okay. And then you. Iron arrow. The guy's in here. Okay. Huh. Oh dear. I did not want to be hit by that. I think for valid reasons, mind you. Oh, are you serious? That wasn't even fair. Well, it was entirely fair. But it feels not fair, man. Ugh. This area is seeming a little bit more daunting with every death. He's not supposed to live through two swipes. There we go. Oh, I just noticed the blood stain on the uh, belly of their shirt. Interesting. I like the silent swipes in the air that he's making. The silent yet very, very forceful swipes. That's not actually very realistic. But satisfying and enjoyable. Seriously. Oh, what? I hit the I hit the stairs. No. My pattern of dealing with these guys has been ruined. Clearly beyond repair. Come on, down here. There we go. Whew. And the dog. Come on, one more. One more step, doggo. I'll, I'll make it easy, I swear. I should probably light the uh, torch before I go forward. Because I have a brief few seconds before that guy over there notices me and I can get over here. Okay, got him taken care of. 
Got to take care of him. And there we go. All right, good. Whew. Oh, he dropped something. The radiant, another radiant life gem. Those are always good. No. Come on. I just have to bounce off the wall. Yeah, Gavland is gone, like I said. He likes to wheel and deal. What? Don't know why I tried to dodge that. Oh, oh, oh. Our character's starting to look pretty hollow. Might have to use a human effigy soon. Might have to reclaim those souls and then head to a different area. But if I do that, that would be in the next part. And I don't want to do that in the next part. There we go. And then you're dead. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna kill your boss, he's gonna be dead. You're going to have let down everyone. You couldn't keep your guard position up. How, the, how does that make you feel, hollow soldier? Hollow soldier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Gene. How, do they, how does that make you feel, Gene? There we go. Killed him. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You don't do that. I am starting to feel... I'm starting to feel some sort of adrenaline pumping through my veins right now. The adrenaline of failing too many times. I want to succeed. Come on. Yep, he's dead. Okay. These guys out here. That was unavoidable. That was unavoidable if I wanted to uh, get rid of him that quick. Get rid of him. Gotta get rid of that dog. Alright, got rid of the dog. What are you doing still sleeping? Get down here. Ah, oh, great. Now I got two of you. Oh, well. It was easy. Okay, got rid of him. You're grid of now. You're grid of. You're grid of. Oh God, you couldn't see anything. Thought I was gonna die there for a second. Only briefly though. <coughs> oh jeez. Oh yeah, Sarah and I have been horribly sick for quite some time. And quite some time, I mean, like, we were just plumb out for one day. Yeah, we were very, very sick for a solid uh, 24 hours, and then we started to get better very quickly. And, uh, I'm currently at my best. Which, which, which is good. At the point that I am at, I can, uh, finally do things again. I almost fell off the edge. No. Die. Fucking... All right, they've adapted. Time to get down here. Kind of hoping a little bit that those guys kill themselves. May not happen though.
Maybe that's hoping too much. Probably is hoping too much. I know I ran by him. <sighs> this area is just positively nerve wracking. What? And that chest is probably a useful item. Well, was. Seriously? He just slides forward? Kind of unfair. Alright. Whew. Homeward bone. Yeah. Oh boy, that was rough. Alright, now that we're back in Majula, let's use up all those souls we have gathered to level up hopefully more than twice. Or more than once, even. Ah, this isn't gonna give me much. 800, better than nothing. Oops, did not mean to use just one, but, you know, 200 souls is 200 souls. Gotta be positive. Okay, now I should be able to level up twice. Leveled up my endurance there. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and sorry if audio has been fluctuating. It does that a little bit. Don't know why. It just kinda does. Anyways, thank you, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like my stuff. Tell me a piece of crap in the comments. Believe me, I know I am right now. Uh, subscribe to tell me I'm a piece of garbage every time I upload a video. I'd, I'd enjoy that too. You're supporting my channel either way. And, uh, yeah. Patreon, Ko-Fi, Twitter in the description if you want to continue to support my channel even more. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.